Hi everyone, welcome to Granny's Sewing Room. My name is Sherry and this is Friday Sews. And this is where the community of sewers get together once a week and talk about what they made or sewed or created for the week, what their plans possibly are for next week, in life in general. And this wonderful hashtag Friday Sews was created by the one and only Jen from Today in Jen Sewing Room. So thanks Jen. And uh, go after you're done watching my video, go and check out all the other sewists and see what they created and what they're doing and you won't be disappointed. So what have I done this week? This week, uh, I'll wait to show you what I've really worked on this week. I did do some shopping. I went to Hobby Lobby and uh, I got me some, uh, well, let me show you. I got me my girl. Isn't she gorgeous? I just love her. She's going to look so good up against my teal wall. And uh, I didn't want to hang her up yet until I let you see her. But she's beautiful. So I got her at Hobby Lobby. And, hold on. Sorry, the phone was ringing. My sister seems to always call me as soon as I start recording. It's like she has this radar in her brain. Hey, call my sister. She's recording. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I bought at Hobby Lobby. I have a order to do a tote for a friend of mine. And um, I had to get some some a 101 interfacing for the tote. And then she wanted uh, either the tote to be horses or birds. And she likes cardinals. So I got this fabric. And this fabric's going to be an accent with this fabric on the sides, maybe the bottom. And then this is going to be the lining. So, and this is the pattern I got to tape together. It is a so sweetness pattern. I think it's the Clyde Bank tote. And then I ordered some zippers off of Amazon. Hopefully they match. I'm waiting for the foam to come. The foam will be here today. So this is what I'll be working on next week. A tote for an order. And then I went to Walmart. Walmart had I Love Bikes. I created that uh, right there, that quilt over there. I found a clip art and I blew it up on my projector, drew out patterns and cut it all out and applicated and made me that uh, quilt over there, that hanging quilt. So I love old bikes. And let's see, are you upside down? You are. So I found this wall at Walmart and I love that old bike. And they also had some black vinyl. So we all know where this is going. I'll be making a bag. This could be the lining and maybe some accent pieces. But this vinyl's not really bad. It's kind of like a felt backing. There's no stretch to it. It's pretty thin, so I think it'd go through a domestic machine. But uh, I got that at Walmart, and I was really happy with that. That was my shopping haul that I did this week. So that was kind of fun. And now if you're curious about the top I'm wearing, it is a new look, very easy sew, uh, 6179. I did view C and uh, it has a casing uh, neckline with bias binding. I used what I had on hand so you could tie it. But this, you can get this done in an hour. So it's a very easy sew and it fit me right out of the package. Usually with the big four, I made this a couple years ago, maybe a year ago. But usually when I buy patterns, I have so many fitting issues. That's why I stick with indie patterns because they fit every woman's body type and they usually fit with very little adjustments, if any, uh, right, out of the, right out of the gate. You usually have to download their pattern and put it all together unless you do projector, which I'm still working on. Now do you want to know what I did this week? I am trying to create my own bag pattern. Uh, I have been working on a pattern. I started out with the tissue paper and now I'm 
uh, trying to get it put on paper paper so I can scan it and make a PDF file. And then I'm going to write the instructions and try to videotape me doing it. But uh, I'm going to create a bag pattern for sale. And I'm kind of excited about that. But as I did the tissue paper, I'm going to show you the bag I created. I'm only going to give you a little sneak peek of it. This is my first attempt. There's several mistakes, so I won't, I'm not going to point mistakes out. But I'm just going to show you part of the bag, not the back of the bag, the little uh, accent in the back. But uh, it's kind of exciting. I'm going to be a bag designer. So that's, that's the peak. It is about 11 inches wide, uh, about 10 inches tall, and about 5 inches deep. So it's a nice little size bag. I would like to try to create it in two sizes, the small and a large, or medium large, because everybody's carrying big bags, but I do not like big bags. But that is my um, sample, and uh, I will start perfecting it as I as I continue to create the bag itself. But the hard stuff, I think, is done. <laughs> well, no, the hard stuff is coming. Writing the instructions and uh, the easy part's done. Because sewing the bags, making the bags are easy. But the, creating the pattern and getting it so it's in a PDF file, writing the instructions and doing the video for each step away and trying to make sense as, as I talk, that's the hard part because I have a hard time of making sense of anything I say. What I do have a hard time with is staying on topic. I jump from topic to topic. I don't finish my sentences all the way. It's like I think people think they should know what I'm going to end my sentence with. So I have a hard time complete, completing my uh, sentence or my thought <laughs> so I've got to try to stay on topic so what else is going on uh, that's the exciting news that I'm trying to make a bag uh, pattern uh, besides that uh, next week I'm just going to be sewing a tote get that done and in the mail I have a collab coming up with uh, Pam from Made by Pam we are doing the Dakota bag and uh, I haven't picked out my fabric I thought I did my vinyl and then I changed my mind. That's another problem I have, changing my mind all the time. So I need to stay focused and say, this is what I'm doing. No matter how it looks, just do it. September, I have two collabs coming up. I have a collab with uh, uh, Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. And she's doing that collab with me, uh, April from Sew April and Chris from Sew Notes. We will be doing a purple bag pattern of our choice and um ooh, might make my own but a pattern of our choice in purple in honor of for all timers so we will be doing a bag together and that's coming out toward the end of september then i also have another collab uh with one of my viewers carmen and chris from sew notes and she's going to try to get a viewer of hers and we're going to get together and make a sweatshirt hoodie type thing for our granddaughters and we will be sharing that collab probably toward the end of September 1st of October. I haven't bought anything for that yet so that's an excuse to go out and do some more shopping. The next thing I'm trying to work on is losing a few pounds and let me tell you Chris from Sew Notes is really helping me. She's keeping me on track and uh we do our weigh-in tomorrow, so I'm kind of excited about that. But, you know, I don't know that I lost a lot of weight, but I'm losing inches. I can feel it around here. And uh, I don't care what the scale actually says. I just want to lose some of the inches. So I think I'm on track for that. I made my grandson cookies, and uh, it was pretty hard not want to taste a chocolate chip. But I kept telling myself, don't you lick your fingers. Don't you eat that cookie. You leave that chocolate chip alone. But uh, I scolded myself and I persevered and I got through it. So I didn't touch a cookie. 
Uh, another part of my problem is the creamer that I use. It is pure sugar. I use that international uh, bland French vanilla, but that is just like poison, you know, in my coffee. So I am trying very hard. I love my coffee in the morning. So my fast usually ends around between 12 and 1. I am not a real stickler. When I'm real hungry, then I'll eat. But uh, I have to have coffee before then. I just have to. So I've switched up my creamer. Right now I'm finding I just like a little half and half in my coffee. And I'm going without the sugar. And it wasn't too bad today. It's just something i got to try to force myself to get used to. And once you're used to it, it's fine. But uh, So I'm working really hard and I'm doing pretty good staying on this. Uh, Nah, I don't really say it's a diet. It's just eliminating bad things that I'm used to eating. I do not snack, uh, but I'm trying to drink a lot of water. That is a hard one for me. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying, when I feel real hungry, I just drink a, drink a glass of water. So I'm eating healthy. I'm eating vegetables and fruits, and so I'm eating healthy. And I'm trying to make my intermediate fasting where I only have a four hour window where I eat. And uh, then I go through the day and night. And uh, so that's where I, if I start eating at noon, then I stop it within four hours and that's how I do it. I do a four hour window. My brain can't think of the times right away. But uh, that's working pretty good for me, so I feel good. Uh, Bingo has me up walking in the morning, and I'll insert us a video, a little clip of Bingo walking me this morning, right here. Bingo is walking me this morning, and she is going fast. Way to go, Bingo. Get my heart pumping. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first, because you are in God's eyes. And, uh, you know, as I'm creating this pattern, I did ask Carmen to kind of pray with me and uh, keep me in her prayers, because if God opens the doors, everything will just be smooth. I'll walk through the doors, and it'll just, everything will work out right. But um, I'm clinging to the scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. And I am clinging to that scripture. I like the one after it too, but I'm clinging to that one right now. Go out and have a wonderful weekend. Go do something creative. But whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord, and your blessings will always come back to you. Bye, everyone. God bless.